Hey guys, it's Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In this video, we'll be talking about how to calculate the equilibrium constant capital K. Let's start with a couple problems. In this problem, we are given the balanced chemical reaction, because, and we know this is balanced because we have coefficients of 1, 1, and 2. When you have coefficients, you have a balanced chemical reaction. And we are also told that we have the equilibrium concentration of the reactants and products. So we have the situation where you have a balanced chemical reaction and equilibrium values. You can start by writing out the equilibrium expression, capital K, which is equal to the concentration of the products over the concentration of the reactants. So the concentration of the products is NO, and you see there's a coefficient of 2. You always have to raise the, the coefficients become the power, so you have to raise it to the power of 2, divided by the concentration of the reactants. So if we have two reactants and their, their gases, we always include gases in the equilibrium constant, so be N2 times the concentration of O2. And they're both just raised to the first power because they're just a coefficient of one. Now that we have the expression, we can plug in the values. So the equilibrium concentration of NO, it's 4.7 times 10 to the negative four. So we'll plug in right here, 4.7 times 10 to the negative four. And don't forget to square it. And then we have to divide by the concentration of N2, which is 0 0.041 times the concentration of the O2, which is 0 0.0078. Then we can plug this into the calculator and that should give us the equilibrium constant. And that comes out to be 6.9 times 10 to the negative four. Two sig figs, we have two sig figs here and two sig figs here and two sig figs here. So our final answer should have two sig figs. Now, if you plug this into the calculator and you weren't getting that number, Perhaps you may have missed putting a parentheses on their bottom. So then you, you should write it's this number multiplied by that num by the other number, but put that into parentheses. And if you enter it like this, then you should get that final answer. All right, let's take a look at the next problem. So this next problem is pretty similar to the one that we saw earlier. We have a balanced chemical reaction, and it tells us the uh, equilibrium values of the reactants and products. But it, this time, it's given to us in moles, and it also gives us a volume. So the first thing that we have to do is, just like the previous problem, we'll start by writing out the equilibrium constant expression, which is the concentration of products over reactants. And for the product side, we have NO, which we'll raise it to the second power, because there's a coefficient of 2, times the concentration of Cl2. And then on the reactant side, which goes on the bottom, you have NOCl and that's also raised to power two. So I can't just plug these numbers in because these are moles and brackets means concentration. So I first have to convert these into concentration and what we convert to concentration is we take the moles and then we divide it by the number of liters. So that means that the concentration of the NO is gonna equal 4.5 times 10 to the negative three moles divided by three liters which comes out to be 1.5 times 10 to the negative five molar. The concentration of the Cl2 is gonna equal 2.4 moles divided by the, by the liters, which is three. And then that gives us 0 .0, 0 0.8 molar. And then lastly, the concentration of the NOCl is going to equal the moles of the NOCl, which is one mole, divided by the liters, which is three liters. And then that gives us 0 0.33 repeating molar. And now that we have the concentration of the reactants and products, we can plug it in. The concentration of NO we said was 1.5 times 10 to the negative negative three, this should be negative three right here. And then we have to square that times the concentration of Cl2, which is 0 0.8, divided by the concentration of NOCl squared, which is 0 0.33 squared. Now enter that into the calculator. And then that comes out to be 1.65 times 10 to the negative five is our k value. So again, really similar to the previous one, except 
that we first have to calculate the concentration by taking the moles of each of the reactants products and then dividing by the total liters, which was three in this case. And then once we got the concentration, we plug it into the expression to get the value of the equilibrium constant. All right, let's take a look at one last one. So this last one is similar, but just a little different from the, the first two that we've seen. We do have a balanced chemical reaction, but this time we're given the equilibrium pressures instead of the equilibrium concentrations or equilibrium moles. And it's asking us to calculate Kp instead of just K. So Kp is really similar to K, but instead of concentration of products over reactants, it's going to equal the pressure of the products over the pressure of reactants. So we have the partial pressure of the NO, which is the product, and there's a coefficient of two, so we'll square that, times the partial pressure of the other product, O2, and then divided by the pressure of the reactants, so the pressure of NO2 squared. And then now that we have the Kp expression, we can plug in the equilibrium pressures of the products and the reactants. The equilibrium pressure of the PO, or the, no, the NO was 6.5, times 10 to the negative 5 atm. And then we have to square that times the pressure of the O2, which is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 5, divided by the pressure of the reactants, pressure of the NO2, which is 0.55, and then square that, because there's a coefficient of 2 again. And now that we have everything plugged in. Let's uh, use the calculator to see what that equals. And that equals 6.2, 6.3 actually, because of two sig figs times 10 to the negative 13. And that's how you calculate the equilibrium constant when you have a balanced chemical reaction and the equilibrium value. You start by writing out the, the K expression, which is just products over reactants. If it's just regular K, use concentration. But if you, use, if you see Kp, then it's pressure products over pressure reactants. Then you just plug in the equilibrium values into the expression, and then you should get, you'll get the equilibrium constant value. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.